Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading for August 19th to the 25th. This is for Virgo, Virgo rising and Virgo moon. And we're going to jump right into it, Virgo. But before we do, happy birthday. Happy birthday to all Virgos. We are officially entering Virgo season. I am very excited for you. Big things happening for y'all. All All right. Now, this week, as I mentioned in my monthly forecast, even my annual forecast, we're here, all right, mid month mid-year okay this is a week where you're gonna feel a lot of strong energies it's gonna feel like uh, even a possible crescendo from last week if you remember the aspects that we had last week and i'll bring up the ones that are you know crucial for for this week as well uh but think about if you have you ever gone on a hike if you've ever gone on a hike i hope you have when you know when you're climbing the mountain or whatever it is it gets steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper. That may be how it feels in the beginning of the week. And it may even feel like your, you know, path is getting a little bit more narrow, 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 narrow. And that's because we have these Saturn squares and a full moon in Aquarius that is very potent. But you are going to keep going because you're determined. You're Virgos. You're going to make it. You want that million dollar view at the summit. They're handing out ice cream up there too. Anything you want, Virgo, anything you want, pizza, they got it for you. They got it for you because Remember, with these Saturn squares, Saturn being karma, rewarding you after you work with Saturn's energies. Hey, there you go. The pleasure center of your brain is activated. Uh, This week, it is actually, it could be really life-changing for you. And I say that because on Monday, we have this full moon in Aquarius. Uh, This is August 19th, Monday. Aquarius rules your sixth house of everyday activities and your routines. So there could be some really big shifts here. Now, this is, like I said, a potent full moon. We've got a couple T-squares. This full moon's at 27 degrees. It's square Uranus. Uh, The sun is squaring Uranus. Mercury is squaring Uranus. All at 27 degrees. Now, I talked about this in my last live stream. 27, 27 equals 9, right? This aspect is happening on August 19th. 8 plus 1 equals 9, 9 plus 9 equals 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9. 9 is a very strong number here. 9 in numerology just happens to represent humanitarian, the humanitarian, humanity, okay? Uh, Which is what Aquarius is known for. Aquarius rules humanity and the humanitarian. So very interesting here, right? 9 is also fulfillment. 9 is actually also linked to Mars, Very interesting for y'all, Virgos, because Mars is in Gemini. So Mars can be, remember, Mars is also squaring Saturn. So it being naughty and Mars being the ruling planet for Aries, God of War. So it could be a little bit of conflict here in terms of something with career, public recognition, honors, achievements, every, all those 10 10 house matters for you. But don't forget, Mars is also ambition and it's courage and it's your passion and, and your drive. Okay. Drive for action. So work with that energy okay because this is going to be a big breakthrough full moon now before i talk about the mars jupiter squares uh this full moon as you know full moons illuminate they bring things to the surface they also bring turning points culminations as i mentioned it is happening in your sixth house you are the native ruler of the sixth house everyday activities your routines also work You've got a lot of work stuff happening here. So, uh, and when I say work, in terms of like your duty to work, okay, a process of work, employees, hiring, things like that, things like that, the uh, things that have to do with the workspace. Um, and it's also health and fitness and wellness. So there could be something here where, again, you're just going to feel this turning point. Aquarius is very radical energy, independent, revolutionary, the rebel. So a lot of rebellious energy. Remember what I said about freedom, Aquarius is freedom. Um, So there could be a big theme for you right now, breaking free from something. All right. Breaking free from a routine. All right. With this full moon in Aquarius. Now, remember what I said, Mercury will be squaring Uranus. Uranus just happens to be the ruling planet, the modern ruler for Aquarius, which is making this a little bit more potent. Uranus um, is in Taurus. That is your ninth house, spirituality. There could be some surprising news or information you receive around this time because the ninth and in terms of uh, ninth house's education, it's learning there could be something here with 
higher learning, even higher mind. That's the ninth house, your belief system, how you see things, philosophies. Ninth house is also publishing. There's also uh, broadcasting. Travel could be something here. All right. There could be something, maybe even a trip that you're ending around this time uh, with this full moon. It's also, you know, there's legal matters as part of the ninth house. Anyway, Uranus is surprises, the unpredictable shakeups, but also that breakthrough energy. So again, there may be this, there's such a radical energy with Aquarius. Um, there may be just something that you're wanting to break free from around this time. Now, it may take a little bit more effort on your side with this breakthrough because we at this point still have Sun in Leo, the Moon is in Aquarius, and we have Mercury and Taurus, three fixed signs. So, uh, you know, that's a lot of fixed energy. It's, it's, well, the first things first, when I was talking about the 27 degrees, that's a mutable energy in, in degree theory. So uh, you're a mutable sign. It's just adapting. So expect change. Ex expect change. Uh, but you adapting to it and initiate the change that you want for you at this time with this full moon. All right. Aquarius is the future. Aquarius is the future. Uh, so letting things go around this time thinking about your future. All right. Start this new cycle. This full moon is corresponding to the new moon in Aquarius we had back in February. It's a six month cycle. Something's uh, again coming to an end or maybe a turning point for you. Now, Jupiter squaring Saturn on the same day, we've got the greater benefic Jupiter and the greater malefic Saturn. This, by the way, is the first Saturn square, one of three that we're going to have. The first the second one's going to be December 24th. If you want to mark that in your calendar, this is going to be the first one. Um, this is the first one that we're coming to as part of Jupiter Saturn's story. They conjuncted back in December 2020. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Every 20 years. So in Aquarius too, by the way, all this Aquarius energy. So there is this square that is happening. If you Saturn being in your seventh house partnerships, relationships, commitments. So again, there's just a little bit of a squeeze around this time. You may feel a sense of, you know, Saturn's limitations, restrictions, also life lessons, like I said, like karma, all right? So Saturn's just giving you a little test. You pass the test, be in touch with your higher mind, your higher self, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be invincible. Remember that Jupiter, along with Mars, are both in your 10th house of career and they're both squaring Saturn. So again, there could be something here with career considering the fact this full moon in Aquarius is in your sixth house of work. And Jupiter's optimism, Jupiter's wisdom, Saturn just wants you to be disciplined um, in your personal growth, in your spiritual growth. You can continue to grow, but you just might feel like there are structures that you may be implementing uh, or adjusting to. Now, uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Remember, Venus is in your sign. Virgo. Okay. So really having that depth, uh, really thinking about everything that your heart desires around this time could be really big for you, especially with the fact that Mercury is retrograde in your 12th house. Mercury is retrograde in Leo. So the 12th house, that's also um, a pure, the subconscious, everything beyond the physical plane, it's dreams, intuition, imagination. There, You really could be having some big thought processes this week. Uh, pay attention to your dreams, by the way. They really honestly could be sending you messages around this time. So just, again, remember to be willing to adjust uh, and be flexible. That really is the thing. Again, uh, it's... it's uh, uh, Jupiter is a ruler of Pisces, by the way. And so Saturn is in Pisces. Pisces is such a spiritual sign. You've got it activated. You've got Leo activated. Mercury retrograde Leo in your 12th house is very spiritual. You've got Mercury uh, in, in uh, sorry, Uranus in Taurus in your ninth house, very spiritual. So it could also be a very spiritual week for you. Okay. Really, really being in touch with your higher self uh, and your authentic self as well. And just embrace this growth and be strong, not only for you, but for everyone that you care about, people that you love. There is a sense of service to others with this sixth house activity, with this full moon. Love is the highest frequency. It is one of the highest. It's it's uh, listen, when you uh, just think compassion, gratitude, 
love just vibrate at those frequencies and you're going to be fine-tuned into those frequencies and radiate because you know you've got this light inside you all right so radiate and that light heals that light heals so uh really take note of the fact that this is going to be a big week now we get to your birthday <laughs> thursday august 22nd sun in virgo sun moves into virgo we officially move into your season so happy birthday this is very you know obviously grounded energy with you you know being an earth sign being virgo really focusing on being productive now for the next six uh, sorry, for the next four weeks, there's a lot of focus on work for you. All right. A lot of focus on work. There also could be a focus on health and fitness and wellness. As I mentioned earlier, spend time in nature. You're going to appreciate it. You're absolutely going to appreciate it. Venus uh, is going to be squaring Mars that same day. So uh, remember, Venus is in your sign. And Mars is in Gemini in your 10th house of career. So again, there may be something here where you are really thinking about career matters. There could be also moments where you're not seeing eye to eye somewhat with someone around this time. Remember, Venus and Mars are the cosmic lovebirds and they're in a square right now. So it really is like an episode of Friends where Rachel and Ross are just in their separate apartments. So this can be with relationships, it can be with friendships, it can be with uh, situationships, but definitely colleagues. <laughs> definitely there could be something here with colleagues, it could be a business partner, it could be your boss, it could be a manager, it could be a colleague. Just keep it in mind that there is definitely going to, Venus is all about diplomacy. Venus wants compromise. So remember, you want to have that compromise around this time. You also could be considering the health of a relationship. Like, is this sustainable? Again, a lot of this is going to resonate with career or work matters for you. Uh, if you are here for romance and with Venus in your sign squaring Mars, if you're already in a relationship romantically, this could actually be really good for you. It could really be stoking the flames. All right. So, but anyway, I really, uh, you know, Virgo risings are really going to feel it in career, but every Virgo is going to feel this. Now you see that, uh, we kick off the weekend, August 23rd with Mercury sextiling Mars. So this is absolutely amazing. It's a very stimulating aspect. This is very outgoing. There's a sense of adventure with Mercury sextiling Mars. There could be uh, some of y'all could be traveling, um, but especially you could be honestly with the fact that remember Mercury is still in Leo in your twelfth house. That's that intuition, the subconscious. There really could be you just ascending different levels of you know intuition at this point too but there's this power aspect to it with mars that's uh, that's here uh so in in any case it is a good time to communicate to socialize to really uh you know mercury is all about communication you would know this mercury is your ruling planet in travel as well. I think I mentioned that, but remember Mercury is retrograde. So there could be some nostalgia here, which is really nice. Also, by the way, you see, I even left these down here. You see, after you get past this kind of like the cosmic storm that's happening at the beginning of the week, I always say, bring an umbrella, bring it. You're going to be fine. Bring your spiritual umbrella. You're going to be absolutely fine. Look at, you got Mercury sex on Mars. You got all these Venus trines. Mercury's going to rag. Mercury's no longer retrograde. So again, it's just working with those energies, okay? Working with the energies, beginning of the week. You're going to be absolutely fine, 1,000% fine. Uh, Venus trining Uranus and Venus trining Pluto are major. That's huge. All right, so we'll 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 talk about them anyway. You're uh, let's get started, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you for uh, August nineteenth to the twenty fifth for Virgo, Virgo rising, Virgo moon. If you ooh, well you, that flipped over. Uh, you see that the ten of well two of them. 
uh knight of pentacles and the ten of swords interesting interesting yeah we're gonna talk that's a wink from the universe we will talk about it if they show up in your spread but i'll also keep it in mind when i do your spread that is uh first of all knight of pentacles is virgo um and remember there is that sense of in it to win it long haul energy with saturn especially with partnerships and relationships and again a big focus on career for you okay could be a big focus on career uh uh, pentacles are also your physical reality and then the ten of wands is that squeeze but we will definitely talk about it if they show up but again i keep it in mind for your reading so virgo let's get to it let's see what's going on for you for august 19th to the 25th okay virgo so Wasn't that cool how I just did that? Uh, I do a traditional quilt across spread. It offers the best overview, Virgo. If we need a full clarifier, as you know that we will. Secondly, you know I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Happy birthday. I'm I'm really excited for you. I've got, you know, my mom's a Virgo. My dog's a Virgo. I got a lot of Virgo friends. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited for them. Uh, listen, the other thing is, you know, I'll, 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 pull, I'll, I'll pull a bunch of clarifiers for you for this week. Yeah. All right. So uh, very interesting. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. You're ready. You're ready to go. You, you're you're ready. You're absolutely ready. I feel like you're going to feel this big charge this week. Um Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's let's get started. You got the devil. Uh, well, you're good, by the way. You got the devil, but in your past. Okay, so you got the devil in your past. Now, there is something that uh, you may have to recognize. Time to let this go. I And again, it can be the devil is everything that you think that the devil represents. Vices, bad behaviors, addictions, codependency, uh, uh, pessimistic thinking. All right. Came up in your past, though. So uh, remember, there's there's breaking free that I talked about. OK, breaking free. That's going to be a big energy moving into this week, even around this full moon in Aquarius. You see the two people chained to the devil here. OK, so this chains are loose and it's your choice to break free. So take that opportunity to break free from the things that may be holding you back. It could be deeply subconscious as well. All right. So there could be something there. Uh, something from the past could be coming up around this time as well. OK, Uh what was I going to say with a double card? Oh, uh, what I was going to say is that big energy is, especially with all this work stuff for you, it could even be like a toxic boss or a toxic colleague. You're like, I just can't do this. I can't work with this. And that's, you know, your breakthrough, finally recognizing it, finally recognizing this is not working out. I've got to, you know, uh, just hit the road jack all right because it's taking up too much hut space and your energy now you've got the three of wands in the heart of your spread this is uh absolutely amazing very excited for you three of wands is i say it's a, it's the green light card let's do it let's go all right um you see it's all sky here they do say the sky's the limit but this is three of wands look at him standing on the edge of his village, looking out there, just ready to go explore, ready to go see what's out there, import, export, meet people, go do like self-discovery as well. All right. Uh, three is the birth of new things, creation. It's also growth, advancement, learning. This is really, really nice. So it seems like there is going to be this sense of breaking free from something. Remember, it's your choice, but it does seem like you are. I mean, this full moon in Aquarius, remember I said the culmination, turning points there is going to be that for you. All right. It's, it's going to be uh, significant. Um, and it, it can be relationships and love as well. Back to the three of uh, wands. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready to to do that. Uh, and especially with a week like this, when you've got so many, like all this spirituality happening for you when when i see what's going on for you now uh what else you have the nine of cups in your challenge area something that you want may have not happened yet and yet is the key word it is a weekly reading remember saturn is uh, there's mercury retrograde there's saturn that's squaring mars and, and and venus and and jupiter so yeah things may take a little bit more time you're going to be fine okay you're going to be fine this is a card of uh wish fulfillment this is also a card of just complete satisfaction so just remember that maybe there's something that needs a little bit 
bit more time to marinate to you know the kinks need to be worked out it's just one of those weeks this card is actually attributed to pisces uh and i'm seeing that here you're getting uh three pisces cards so when i talk about saturn Saturn is in Pisces in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So really could be something significant here coming after the devil where you see the two people here from the lover's card, by the way, chained to the devil. So a sense of partnerships and relationships could be a theme for you this week. Um, the other thing is, is there someone in your life that is kind of, there's just someone that you may see in a different light. Let's just keep it that way this week, all right? With a nine of cups in your challenge area. There, you just may see them in a different light. Now, you have the eight of cups as well in your crown. This is moving forward. This is moving forward because you know there's something better for you out there. Uh, this card is actually attributed to Saturn and Pisces. Gonna be a big thing. Saturn, these Saturn squares. Remember, that's partnerships and relationships. There may be something where you realize, look at what's happening here time to move forward i can do better that's what this card is okay it may be a little bittersweet you may be a little mm, but you've got three of wands all right and you see you got the tower again again how crazy is that how that works remember every week is a progression it's a, that's what life is so you know we move into the next week next week same thing with your spreads okay from your last week's reading you know that you got the tower in your future and now it's in the root of your spread so you see that progression happening all right so uh but before i even get there just remember this is all you he's wearing a red cape red boots for that power empowerment that passion just knowing he he can break free from this. Now, the tower in the Rudier thread. So, yes, there is this. Uh, it just seems like there is going to be this awakening for you. You've experienced it. You're feeling it. There is a little bit of, you know, with the tower. Yes, there is a little bit of, like disruption and surprises that it brings. What are the chances of happening when Mercury uh, squaring Yurtis this week with those surprising news and whatnot? But this card is actually attributed to Mars. And remember, Mars is in your 10th house of career. So there could be something here with career, but it doesn't mean it's limited to that. It's whatever resonates with you. It definitely can be a relationship or it could be something that you realize was not working out for it wasn't working out for you. And if you really stay with it, Maybe you are going to have a tower moment, okay? Because you see, I think I pointed out the last week in your spread as well, you see the lightning striking the uh, crown off the tower. And that's ego, all right? And then uh, with Mercury squaring Uranus, uh, Uranus, lightning. Anyway, there may be something here that uh, you're just experiencing that it's, it's make it, you're just it's making you ready to move forward, and uh, you do have the Nine of Cups in your future, so you are moving into this place where you are seeking this emotional fulfillment, uh, possibly with a partner. Okay, it can be love, it can be romance, it could be taking a relationship to the next level as well, especially in work as well. Okay, there's, there's something here with work. Now you see him extending the cup. So he does want to share this cup. He is the, you know, knight in shining armor here. Take a good look at his helmet, his shoes, the wings of imagination. It's a lot of creative energy here. And when I say creative energy, sure, creativity, but in the sense of even being creative with problem solving, being creative with I'm going on a first date. What can I do to make it really special and memorable? So that kind of energy is really strong here. Knight of Cups is also Pisces, all right? You even see the fish in his armor, also creativity here. Um, so, wow, you got a lot of passion this week. You got a lot of passion. You got red in every card. Um, so I I love this for you. This is uh, uh, wonderful. Just know with this tower moment, I'm going to see something for you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So when I talk about partnerships and relationships, I really want you to know that the cards don't lie. The cards don't lie. So there could be something better for you on the other side of whatever needs to, you know, okay, right here. And you may feel a little bit of a disruption in a partnership or relationship too. Uh, and again, remember that can be career, that can be love, whatever resonates with you. It could even be friendship. It could be something platonic here. But I mean, the two of cups, that's two souls inhabiting one body. This is 
bonding. This is special. It's really special. Uh, it definitely can be a friendship for you that uh, moves into something really, really nice. Really dreamy. Okay. Um, so I really like that for you. Oh my gosh. Let's get to your stuff. Uh, Virgo, y'all, I, uh, where am I? I'm in Mercury retrograde land. Uh, oh, if you like this reading, would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments, all that fun stuff we love doing together. And you know, I love y'all. Virgos, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah. All right. You're moving into this place of abundance and happiness and joy, but you are going to feel a little bit of that squeeze. Um, very interesting. Wow. You got the two of wands. Um, two ones yes plan your next step that's all this is it's just planning planning standing on the highest point of your castle you got the world in your hand you've already made these accomplishments there's things that have come into your life now it's now planning it out planning the next steps all right this is uh going to be very nice for you could be very transformative for you too uh, with the two of wands, the three of wands, the fact that these two cards are actually Aries cards. North node and Aries in your eighth house. Transformation. Now, you got the ten of cups. Very nice. Very nice. Happy everything. Happy everything. This is sheer joy and contentment. You've got all the cups here uh, aligned in the rainbow. Rainbow indicating this promising future. You've got the cup, uh, the enlightenment. Just think enlightenment. This is, look how happy they are. Now you even see the couple here. So another like wink and nod to, hey, partnerships and relationships may be a theme for you, but they're so joy. This is so joy. This is amazing. Look at the direction the Knight of Cups is moving into. All right. So this is absolutely, absolutely amazing. A lot of enjoyment, a lot of enjoyment. And again, this is a Pisces card as well. The Ten of Cups. So partnerships and relationships. That was, that's what Pisces rules for you. Um, especially again, if you're Virgo rising, that may be a big thing, but every Virgo is going to feel it. You got the five of pentacles as well. You know, where it falls in your stuff is just saying like, okay, I'm over it. I do not want to, uh, have what well, a have someone hold me back you there is again just there may be a disconnect with someone it can be work like i said it can be love whatever it resonates with you but with it being pentacles pentacles is your physical reality so something happening in your physical world here now the but where it falls in your staff it's just saying i I, I don't want that. I do not want to be in a place where I feel, uh, you know, these two people are focused on their plight. They're refusing to see that they're literally outside of church. Sometimes this happens with this card. Uh, so they're kind of happy being unhappy and, 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 and just again, uh, vibrating at that low energy frequency. And that is exactly what you don't want to do where it's ending up in your stuff. Now, lastly, you have the nine of wands. This is just saying that, yeah, there, sure. You're going to feel a little bit squeeze. You're going to feel a little bit squeeze this week in terms of your passions, uh, your ambitions, work related matters as well. But you, like, nothing's going to stop you. Nothing's going to stop you. You see him. This is a card of resilience and perseverance. So he's not letting anyone take those wands away from him. He's not letting anyone take anything that he's worked hard toward. Like, he's vigilant. He's saying, I, I've gone through the ringer. You've put me through the ringer. Bring it on. Bring it on. I can take more. I can take more because nothing's going to nothing's going to make me, you know, uh, what is it? Bring me down, bring me down or knock me down. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my goodness. I've got mercury retrograde brain. Uh, all right. What else do you want? Let me, let's, uh, let's clarify that. Let's clarify that one. Okay. And then you got the king of wands. You hang in there. You're going to be absolutely fine. You got the king of wands in your final outcome. This is a uh, big entrepreneur energy, but this is epitome of fire. When we get to the king of wands, wands being the fire element. Ooh, all that passion, all that passion that almost like you can't contain it. You could even see him. The king of wands is leaning forward in his throne. Okay. Like just I'm ready to go like the three ones here, like go discover things and, you know, continue to pursue my passions, help other people with their passions, just 
such this fiery spirit, but also a lot of work energy here. Okay. And very transformative energy, especially with, you know, you see the salamander at his foot representing change. You see and transformation. You see the Ouroboros in his throne. So really love this for you. Um, Virgo. I, I mean, you're, 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 you're good here. You're good. You just got to recognize the thing that you know it's like I, this isn't good for me but it looks like you're moving into this new partnership or relationship a lot of y'all are or maybe even this new phase as long as you confront the thing that may be kind of like the elephant in the room in terms of a partnership or relationship or a commitment but there is a sense of you moving forward moving into this abundance like this is absolutely amazing i love this for you virgo thanks so much for tuning in if you like this reading it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments tell me what's going on especially like a week like this with this full moon it's so potent and next week uh i think i do your september forecast next week did i already tell you did i tell you that we we kick it off right away with a new moon in your sign virgo new moon in your sign you heard that right we'll talk about it we'll talk about it next week so yeah new things are happening for you but anyway you're 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 absolutely great thanks so much virgo i will see you next week all right bye bye